Fall of 76. Oh my god. I don't know why it freezes when I click off of Firefox nowadays. What the fuck, man? What the fuck? All 76. Let's go. Bethesda Ruins. You want to turn to Bethesda Ruins? Sure. The Fallout of 76. If you found this tape, it means that everyone is dead. No! All working at a different office. Okay. How did this happen? Uh. Well, I'll tell you. Buckle up, buckaroos. Today's lesson is the misfired launch of Fallout 76. June 2018. Okay. It began with everyone getting just a little hyped up. Have we waited long enough, guys? Oh, God! Like, all I know from 76 is, is that the release was a fucking shit show and that that game was bad. Uh, that, that was an entire topic. I don't know much more. I still haven't played a Fallout game. <laughs> yes, we have, Todd. I think we have. Fallout 76, Bethesda's biggest game yet. My God, it was exciting. And they promised we'd know more at E3. E3 hype time. Oh the God. press conference. No more E3s. 16 times the detail. 16 times the detail. Wow! 16 we times! New rendering, lighting, and landscape technology. Wow! Four times the map size. It is four times the size of Fallout 4. And it's our biggest one yet. My no. God, it was exciting. November 14th, 2018. The game goes live with a day one patch of 50 gigabytes. For fuck's sake, I'll see you tomorrow. But once that's downloaded, people start logging into the hellscape that is Fallout 76. What the and fuck is that? Oh on dear screen? lord, they never fix the bugs. Um, and there are so many of them. Oh my. Goodbye, world. Goodbye, oh necks. Goodbye, my. body. Goodbye, heads. Bugs, bugs, bugs everywhere. I don't know how bad it was. Jesus Christ, Corbin, hi! Thank you for the follow. Welcome in. We're in the middle of the Fall of 76 video by the Internet Historian. Server crashes, game crashes, ah. old bugs imported from Fallout 4. Join right Use in. Use more than one nuke at a time, um. server's dead. Texture's far too texturous, an all-consuming void. Aerolog 307. Can't pick nice. up stuff, can't stop asserting dominance with a T pose. Frame rate problems, screen tear Buzz. problems, getting too yeah. swole, getting underneath the map, getting oh. attacked by invisible enemies, spawning too many enemies. It kind oh. of speaks for itself. Spawning too many god rays. Also, your camp resets after every session, and sometimes it goes underwater. Holotapes randomly really play static, but too many holotapes mean none of them will play. Enemy AI is far more A than I. Animations <laughs> are broken. Surprise! Floating objects and a traveling merchant. Just to name a few. Yeah. Joseph Anson has a great video that documents just the ones that he found personally. Just works, That yeah. video is three hours long. Um, but it gets worse. <laughs> there are CE348780. Can corrupt your data and force you to reinstall the game and console operating system. A few what? PC players had their computers the break entirely. System? Also, when the date rolled over to the 1st of January 2019, um, the nukes in the game stopped working altogether. Who in here played Fallout 76 on launch? Who here played it on launch? Did it get that bad? Did you have to reinstall your PC? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god! Yeah, no one thought it prudent to program in other years oh. and then always on. And was it as bad as all the videos say it was? Because, for example, like all the people said and posted a lot of bugs and how buggy Pokemon Scarlet and Violet were. For me, it ran just fucking fine. But yeah, I know I play Bethesda games on launch. That's fair. And it was oh my god. Mine game. And a few players were straight up logging into other people's accounts. Thankfully. What? This guy had a level 70. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Come come again? Players were straight up logging into other people's accounts. This reminds me of There was a time where Steam fucked something up and people got locked into other people's accounts too. It happened to me. It happened to me. 
And like, after a minute, it was fixed again. That shit was insane. This guy had a level 78 character that was randomly replaced with a level 8 character. Bethesda Lovely. said they couldn't do anything about it. <laughs> now, many players are not thrilled with this game, and they want Bethesda to know that. And they want everyone else to know that too. But Bethesda owns the platform. Is Fallout 76 fun? Yes it is. Banned for racism. Thread locked. They had no direct outlet for their rage. The only solution was to put a torch to everything else. Reddit. <laughs> Twitter. Yep. Bethesda's other games on Steam. The other games! The backlash so... was immense. But surely level heads would prevail. The reviewers would come game, out and man. say that the game isn't so bad. Oh dear lord, they hate it. This is so sad. Despacito, play Country Roots. No! Oh my god, that's a blast from the past. That's a blast from the past. What the fuck am I looking at? Almost heaven. <laughs> oh what? Virginia. Blue Ridge Mountains. Shenandoah River. And the YouTube community Heck had this to say. It's really fucking boring. Ah! could barely bring myself to play it in order to finish this review. No one on staff wants to play any more of this video game. I'm not gonna subject myself to another 20, 30 hours of this fucking mess. In short, Fallout 76 is morally, technically, and creatively bankrupt. The mods on Bethesda forums were working overtime. The mods on Reddit almost gave up. <laughs> yeah. Look, I'm not saying that some people didn't enjoy and have fun with this game. But what I am saying is that the Stuff. It was honestly the nail in the coffin for the Bethesda. Yeah, it was, man. It fucking was. Also, fucking just re releasing Skyrim every fucking few years. Like, get the fuck over yourself already, man. Metacritic was really funny to read. So, what happened? Well, it came out that development was hugely rushed. The deadlines Whoa. were tight. <laughs> Too tight. Ayo. Plus, this wasn't Bethesda's A team. It's actually a relatively inexperienced division based in Austin, and the scope of the game kept getting bigger. We're gonna need distant weather systems. Hey Todd, I stayed up all night and I just We're finished- We're gonna need 16 times the detail. Please, uh, Todd, no more. We're gonna need four times the size of Fallout 4. They were trying features. to patchwork the old Bethesda creation engine into a multiplayer framework. What else could you expect? That's why I give my kids Fallout 76. The fool. <laughs> now, Bethesda could tolerate Ouch. the bugs and the bad reviews and the irate players, but mm -hmm. what they couldn't tolerate were the exploits. Um, infinite inventory, oh, yeah, infinite of course, invisibility. That's where the frame rate was tied to the game speed, so people mm. were going a lot faster than they should. Did you know uh, the teaser video for Elder Scrolls 6 came out six years ago this week? Wow. Six years years ago it's gonna happen soon right elder scrolls 6 is coming guys it's on its way server hopping for more items infinite cash and infinite duplication unlimited xp unlimited nuking the nuclear codes were unencrypted and you could wall clip into the quest room and someone was given the curse of infinite invincibility Naturally, this can really mess with other players' online experience. So Bethesda was ready with the ban hammer this just works. and a blindfold to wildly flail around and take down anyone who happened by. But Bethesda wasn't satisfied with just banning people. No, they're a progressive company oh, no. with big ideas. Well, they wanted to you. give a road to redemption. Oh, so support sent out this email to players caught cheating. We would be willing to accept an essay on why the use of third-party cheat software is detrimental to an online game community. What? That's right. 500 words on why you're a very naughty boy, what? and they may just give you your account back. But a couple of days later, the mocking from news outlets caused them to reconsider this approach. Yeah. One more exploit. In all the Bethesda games, there's a dev room. Every item in the game is kept here. Security has to be top-notch because otherwise, someone could just waltz in and take all of the best items in the game and it would be an absolute disaster. Well, shit. Of course, Bethesda wasn't equipped to deal with the issue. People started flooding in, taking the best items in the game, then oh. selling those items on a black market of sorts. <laughs> At first, they tried the usual approach. 
banning people who had some of the best items in the game. You spent 700 hours just to get the best gun? Die, cheater! Next, they put in a system where players would get tagged what? if they ever entered the room, and they banned those players. That wasn't much better because people would just start using Smurf accounts. Get in quick with a level 1 account. Get all that good shit. Then get the fuck out. Then use a duplication glitch to get a ton more of those items. Yeah. Then transfer that stuff to your main account and you're good to go. Bethesda then takes out this level 1 and calls it mission accomplished. And you've just beaten the game. So the problem continued. Bethesda is running out of ideas yeah. to solve it. There's a lot of speculation in the Thanks media the fucking game about, about that. how exactly people are getting in, but no one except for the exploiters <laughs> Black knows for sure. That said, Bethesda needs to act fast before it ruins the economy of the game. So they wrote another Delayed. email no. and sent it out to the Smurfs. No! <clears throat> uh, hello, Cheetah. Yeah? Do you want to tell us how you did it and we might unban you, please? <laughs> Should we not hear back from you, the account will simply remain suspended. <laughs> it's not known whether this approach worked. But it's from what I've seen, it's still possible to get into the dev room. <laughs> no November way! 22nd, Please self-report how you did it, so sure, and we might on the- What? 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 2018. That's insane! Just a week after the release, the game goes on discount. Just From a week? to $40. To $30. Wait, 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 did he really just say just a week? November 22nd, 2018. Just a week after the release, ah! the game goes on discount. From 60 to $40. Your, uh, uh. To oh, 35. Rush, Jesus. To Sorry. 30. You can find it for 15 on eBay. Oh and my in Germany, god! They're straight up giving it for free when you buy a PlayStation <laughs> controller. I actually remember this. I. 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 I've seen ads for that. <laughs> I've seen ads. Also, some stores are just zip tying it to other products. But to Bethesda, <laughs> it's worth selling the thing at a price close to zero because it brings people into the atomic shop, which is where the real margins are. No. And it inflates the poor sales figures. Let's have a look at those. Oh no. The latest figures show 76 sold less than a sixth of what Fallout 4 did. Not good. There's also been a massive oversupply of hard copies. Although what's the point of a hard copy when the thing is just a cardboard disc telling you to redeem an online code? No way. No way. No way. No. Bro, I would want the fucking refund of this. I would. No. I'm. If. If they sh did that shit to me, refund that shit right the fuck now. Honestly, just sue them. This is. This. This is a scam! <laughs> you didn't get what you ordered? You, like... N no! N no! And while sales are low, returns are high. Immediately upon release, people began asking Bethesda for a refund. 76 is not on Steam, it's on Bethesda's <laughs> own platform. So they have all the control. Motherfuckers. If players only played the game for a few hours, then generally they'd get their money back. However, it came out that people were sometimes getting refunds after a full 24 hours of play. Quite generous. But then word about this spread to forums. <laughs> then to Reddit, and a post got 12,500 upvotes informing people that this made pretty much everyone eligible for a refund, and the comments told them exactly how to do it. Oh. Bethesda was flooded with requests for refunds. Oh my god, imagine still having a fucking phone line as a, ga like, as a game studio. Ain't no fucking way. And their response? Shut it down, lads. No, no, no one gets a refund now. Everyone go home. Show's over. No more refunds. Robot customer service man Jova. engage. Customers who have downloaded the game are not eligible for a refund. We apologize for the inconvenience. Die. A few things followed. First, people got mad. One hardcore gamer even trashed a GameStop for refusing his refund. Oh, come on. The GameStop. 
the GameStop wasn't at fault for anything, come on, man. Leave the GameStop alone, that's just fucking stupid. Oh, oh, oh my, chill, brother! Like, what does the GameStop do, do to the you, man? The probably looks a fake. Second, the media... Oh, Lord. And third, a class action lawsuit. Their inconsistent yep. refund policy and terms of service Let's may go. not be strictly legal. November 27th, 2018. GameStop deserves to be trashed, but not for that reason? GameStop bad over, in, you, uh, over there in America? GameStop over here is pretty nice. I like GameStop. They even sell merch at GameStop here. What the heck? Glacio and Rathod LLP filed a class action suit on behalf of customers. Media quickly picked up on that. Their main argument is that it's a sometimes unplayable game owing to its technical what problems. The fuck then am they're I even looking at this visual vomit? And that Bethesda is engaged in a strategy to release it anyway and then slowly patch their way into a more playable state. Updates on this lawsuit are slow, so I'll keep you informed on the second channel. Ad time. Look, there's a meteor headed straight to Earth. Oh my no god. Way. We must do something. <laughs> Was anyone curious enough oh to no. read about it online? What is gonna Not me. What Not ad me is it either. gonna be? Nope. Oh no. Now people think I'm dumb and I have died a virgin. Huh? Don't let this happen to you. Get Curiosity Street. It's a streaming okay. platform with some of the best documentaries and non-fiction from them. around the world. Partial nudity, maybe if you look hard enough. But more importantly, hey, the most arousing thing of all, knowledge. <laughs> works for your Roku, Android, etc, etc. It works on et everything. Cetera, et cetera. Science, nature, history, tech, society. CuriosityStream.com slash Internet Historian for unlimited access to the world's free top documentaries and non-fiction series. Use the promo code Internet Historian during the sign-up process to get the first 30 days free. Then cancel any time. Wink. Pl <laughs> Wait, look, I need, I need sponsors. I, I bought a lifetime supply of toilet paper, thinking I was saving money, but then I left it out in the rain, and the crows got it. No! And now I'm back to square one. Please. <laughs> CuriosityStream.com/slash/internetstory. Ads over. Let's rewind a little bit. Four rewind fans time. made their pre-orders, and the most dedicated pre-ordered the Power Armor Edition. Wow. It came with a helmet. Box, map, army toys, and a genuine West Tech canvas bag. Okay. Fast forward to the release. And customers notice that their precious bags, which are supposed to be made of the finest canvas in the land, yeah. look a bit different. Bruh. In nah. fact, it looks like a carry bag the real bag should come in. Bruh. Do they really just <sighs> advertise one thing? And deliver another? No. Can't do that. So there Wait, was a surge absolutely. of backlash, and people began no. emailing the first asking for refunds, asking for answers. Yeah, what the fuck? By this point, customer service is absolutely over it. They are done with the facade, and they send this email in response. Hello. We are sorry that you aren't happy with the bag. Uh, yeah. The bag shown in the media was a prototype and was too expensive to make. We aren't planning on doing anything about it. <laughs> No. No way. There's no way there. No. There's n no. What? Bag shown in the media was a prototype and was too expensive to make. We aren't planning on doing anything about it. <gasps> That's the whole email. Staff at Bethesda aren't even hiding their contempt anymore. Naturally, the internet goes wild. Are you fucking kidding me? Wow. Wow. Well, I got so mad, I shaved everything <laughs> off my face. <laughs> okay, guys, this is a bit of a PR nightmare. We have to quell the outrage. <laughs> a bit. What do we do? Well, we've got this in game currency. Let's just no. give them the minimum amount of that. No. Fantastic no. idea. No. Hear ye, hear ye. Anyone who paid two to three hundred dollars for the Power Armor Edition is hereby entitled to five dollars worth of no. in-game currency. 
no then way. you'll be able to spend with us. 500 atoms? Fuck yeah! What are you going to do with your atoms? I'm going to buy 5 eighteenths of the white paint version of the power armor. Whoa! What about you? Light wood laminate. Light wood laminate. Light wood laminate. <gasps> Fuck the bag. He's right. Fuck the bag. Light wood laminate. Light wood laminate. Light wood laminate. Light wood laminate. <laughs> I guess that's the only item you could buy with that. This was Bethesda's fantasy of what would happen. What really happened is further outrage. And even the media started piling on. Almost oh no. Where's Virginia? It even became part of that class action lawsuit from oh earlier. Oh my god. But this put out a tweet apologizing for their Kirk customer service and gave a different excuse for why they didn't make the bags. A shortage of material, apparently. Oh, I'm not. That was yeah. quickly debunked. Because it turns out they did make the canvas bag. What you Except they that? gave them all out to influencers. Wow. Oh dear. It's not the same one, of course. But it's sourced from that ever-scarce material, canvas. But what's more amusing is that it turns out there is a canvas bag in the game. If you don the no. postman, which of course can be found at the atom shop. Oh my or fucking god! 700 atoms. You can't even buy it. Ooh, just short. No. Well, the bleating from the online oh community my. continued, and Bethesda's lawyers realized there would be trouble. So they decided to capitulate. All right, oh my fine. god. We'll make your precious fucking bag. If you want to claim it, you'll have to fill out this form with your name, oh, personal details, off. address, etc., etc. And we'll ship out the bag to you in four to six months. But it doesn't Excuse quite you? end there. Because Bethesda is known for bugs. And of course, yeah, their of website course. is a buggy mess, too. Yeah, of course. Turns out all of the customer support inquiries are unsecure and open to the public. No. In fact, people can open and close and change them at will. No. Listed are details of no. full legal names, no. phone numbers, home no. addresses, and more. If you've requested your canvas bag, you've just been doxxed. No! Not knowing how- That, that shit reminds me of the real the fucking- ID that Blizzard wanted to push. No, that they did push for like, I don't know for how long. They uh, fucking turned that shit off real quick after, man. But goddamn. This is worse since it's a security breach kind of thing. But still, it just, uh, it just came into my fucking mind, man. Oh my god. How to immediately fix the problem? How do, how do people Still support Bethesda after this man. What the hell? Bethesda panics and temporarily shuts down the whole yeah. website. And that is the tale of the duffel kerfuffle. How could this have been so difficult? They it didn't last long. One of the community managers tried to show it was good and he got instantly, yeah, yeah, I, I, I remember, I remember. Made one for New Vegas. One last piece of merch, a rum drink. Nuka Cola Dark. Okay. Pre-orders available in September. Okay. Shipped out on November 14th. $80 plus postage and handling. Not wow. cheap. But in return, you got a very cool bootle. Looks good on the shelf. Yeah. A great Looks conversation pretty. piece with the family over Thanksgiving. Sure. Or at least it would have been. Oh no. November 14th came and went, and there was no rum. Of course uh, not. Okay. A week later, on November 21st, an email comes through. There's a delay. <laughs> Things aren't up to the oh, usual no. fallout standard, they say. <laughs> what is the What is the usual fallout standard? Ah? Huh? What is the usual fallout standard? How the fuck do people still support this company? That's what I'm saying! The usual fallout standard. This just works. Things aren't up to the usual fallout standard. So we'll have it for you soon. No specific date given. Oh One my. week later. We're not Nothing. making it. Then on December 5th, <laughs> another email. Good news. They're not making we start it. shipping on December oh? 12th. Okay. It's been nearly three months since you pre-ordered. But as yeah, a show well, of good okay. faith, we made this promotional video for you. Oh my god. And Did this it? is where things went from tardy to retardy. Oh no. Right there. Did you catch that? No. That's just a regular industry oh, bottle oh my. and a plastic shell. No. We paid $80 and waited a quarter of those, a year. Those motherfuckers! Uh, oh my god. That is so scummy. I don't know what they promised on the pre-ordering website. 
But depending on what they promise, yeah, easily suable. Easily suable, depending on what they promised. Yeah, for a plastic shell, people were not happy. Look at that ratio. <laughs> Nothing in the marketing said that it was a plastic shell. Super premium, we were promised. And the media agreed. People began cancelling their orders. Silver Screen tries to convince people that it's not cheap and shitty. It actually costs us twice as much to make the plastic one than the glass one. Then what the fuck? We, we spent a hundred yeah, right? like, hours the then? design. Convincing stuff. So it arrives, just a few days before uh, Christmas. The rum is about the quality you'd expect. Can I swear on this? It's my own show. Ah. Worse is the design. The oversized lip means liquid can pour inside oh the God. shell. From the pour what? How they made this damn thing. Fuck this! Still like half the shot. Very dribbly. So you're best off opening the whole thing up to prevent spilling. If you do that, there's a good chance that you'll snap the flimsy plastic. Fuck Any that! Any liquid will immediately ruin this cheap paper sticker. Some made their own at home and the quality was about on par. But look, if you do want a decent version of this product, there are reputable sellers of them. They're on Etsy. They're far cheaper, and they actually give a shit. Wow. Not gonna lie though, some of the memes that came out of this were pretty good. <laughs> now, many claim that this was an honest mistake. Sorry. Be sorry. Or that customers were at fault for misinterpreting sorry. ambiguous marketing. I disagree. All of the marketing shows other glass items. All of the mock-ups show something more akin to frosted glass than plastic. They give plenty of descriptions of the product too, and not once do they mention plastic. And they were do engaged they in a bunch glass, of other though? tomfuckery as well. Before the product was even available, they flooded their own product reviews with a bunch of five stars. <laughs> no way! This raised some you eyebrows, and people on Reddit even called them out for it. You can't make so this shit So they deleted up. them. You can see all this activity on the way back machine. Now, if they're happy to deceive people in this way, it seems silly to give them the benefit of the doubt about the glass. It's also worth quickly talking about the Bethesda merch store. Some of these items are pretty neat. Okay. That's cool. Okay. Good idea. Okay. Aww. That. Fallout 76 pant. Uh. Singular. But why is he so <laughs> mad? The photography is all just slightly... <laughs> oh, 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 oh. This gaudy jacket was mocked relentlessly on social media. But does the 76 in 276 dollars really make it more immersive? And why did they just toss it on the ground? Oh, and it comes in this crumpled up toddler body bag. You're talking about hundreds of thousands of dollars in merch and you don't have an iron? Why is she wearing the size XXL? She's clearly not happy about it. But who looked at this and said, good job, print? So now that's surprising. Out. And what the fuck? They made the bottle properly. Yeah, what? one of those, please, but bigger and brown. Is what? that so hard? What? Let's get back what? to the game. December 2018. There are two new patches released that caused quite a stir. First, the good. <gasps> For PC, they included a number of quality of life improvements, including the push to talk. Future. Okay, sure. But it also brought in field of view sliders. Okay, sure. Hooray. Sure. <laughs> Increased stash capacity from 400 pounds to 600 pounds, and a small buff to automatic weapons. Hooray! Okay, yeah, sure. They decreased the carry weight of bobby pins so it no longer took up 10 to 20 percent of people's inventory. <laughs> I got a box of bobby pins nah. the other week that said, that said, weigh these. <laughs> <laughs> they were also upgrade. That person that did that. Legend. Other week that said, that said, weigh these. <laughs> Legends. <laughs> there were also upgrades to the camp that allowed for easier construction and a bunch of bug fixes. Hooray. The Yay. Bad. No. <laughs> a whole bunch of unannounced stealth nerfs. They generally made the game grindier. Emo production was decreased. Fusion cores burnt out faster. Legendary enemies spawned less frequently. On guard, I'll fuck you up. And the backlash was significant, because everybody knew why Bethesda was doing it. To encourage people to use the Atomic oh Shop. God. Money! And let's talk briefly about that store. 
Some of the prices are outrageous. A Christmas tree for $12, a Santa outfit for $20, blue and yellow paint for $18. What? Oh look, $3 what? for the same sweater vest and slacks item imported from Fallout 4. But the biggest okay. offense of all was the holiday Why? emote bundle. $24 for some Christmas themed emotes. What the Twice fuck? the price of these games. The media agreed that these were egregious prices. But worse, they're engaged in some deceiving marketing practices too. Oh look, it's marked down half price. But it's not. It was released half price. They're artificially jacking up the price, only to then give it a fake limited time discount in order to create a sense of urgency. That's illegal, here in Australia at least, in Canada and in the EU. Reddit quickly picked up on this and pointed it out. Bethesda reacted by scrapping the discount and just setting it as the always intended uh, price. <laughs> okay, it's been about 25 minutes man. of whining now, so I'm just going to leave it here. I didn't even get a chance to touch on the new pay to win fiasco. Oh the new my camera God. item that lets you teleport that was pay to, to win. player numbers. But on the flip side, they're also adding new content and improving the game over time. Heck, No Man's Sky was a surprising comeback. So, maybe Bethesda can do it too. But for now, Todd returns to cryostasis. Hiding in his bunker until the bombs of outrage stop falling. Oh boy. And returning only when it's time to get our hopes up. Once again. Oh my. Oh my god. Curiositystream.com slash internet historian. <laughs> Yo, Copybara. Not many people know this, but I'm actually quite a good rap artist. Rapist, if you will. So I'm going to say all these names for you from the credits oh God. as fast as I possibly can oh God. in time with the scrolling. Here we go, one take. Oh God. Just deal, Miles Millican, Justin Rowling, uh, 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 Steve Rizzo, <laughs> Drudders, Indigo Zero, Luke Hackle, Astatine oh 210, God. Uh, Jordan Prince, uh, Dr. Tex, Papa Spicy Peter, Tef, Edgy Kid X, Bryce first try. Twitter, Ham, first take, no, first try. Nate Odenkirk. But Sanya Waffles, uh, Krabby... Krabby Patties. If you want to get read by the rapist, then why don't you head over <laughs> to... Uh... Good video. Holy shit. What the fuck, man? Uh, but I think Fallout 76 is now... Like, now it's pretty playable from what I heard last. He was so done, yeah. <laughs> Understandably so.